welcome to mora fc it is water this is the perfect way the perfect way how to cut this shower color you know the v side is very small another one this one the v side is not longer you know it's very very short there's some tips tricks that you need to pay attention when cutting this kind of shower color i'm going to start from a to z from finish now from the starting line to the finish line the tips the tricks that you need in achieving this beautiful shower color is right here on this tutorial please if you jump a step you're gonna miss something great so without wasting my time so let's get started you need your bus measurement and your shoulder to shoulder measurement your sleeve length all this kind of measurement you divide your bars by four and you're gonna add your sewing allowance to it this is the length and you're gonna add one inch to your length the back is longer than the front we know that and you're gonna add like four inch or four and a half inch it depends how you want it like i said this is from a to z from starting line to the finish line and you know, all the tips all the tricks that you need is right here in this video please if you jump a step you're gonna make something great if you jump a step you're gonna make something great so please take your time and watch the measurements the sizes i'm using the measurement that i'm using take note on that and listen to my voice mora fc it is what it is so if you want to learn how to cut a senator top i'm going to leave a link in the description box below do it and check it out and learn how to cut so this is the shoulder slope you go down by two inches or one and a half inches then you cut the shoulder slope you can see the back is longer than the front like you can see right here so you're gonna fold on each other like this one half inch on top of each other half inch on top of the reason why i'm going back i'm going step by step is that the measurement of the neck here is different from the other ones that we'll be cutting that's why i'm going step by step the measurement of the neck here is different so that's why i'm going step by step so pay attention so i'm going to measure three and a half this is three and a half inches three and a half inch and there's a reason why i'm measuring three and a half inches the shoulder divided by two you add your half inch to it and you cut your arm hole it is what it is and you cut your back i measure three and a half for the back to understand then you come in you cut and slide that part you know like i said the neck of this one is different the neck of this one is different i use three and a half i always use two and a half i always use two and a half. but this one you need to mark three and a half inches and there's a reason to that and i'll explain to it on the way around you know So now I can put the back somewhere. We are done with the back and let's focus on the front. You can see that the front, I've not cut the front neck yet. I've not cut. So I'm going from this line. I'm going to measure quarter to five inches, quarter to five, quarter to five. You can measure five inches. You can measure four and a half inches. It's going to depend the size of your head. You need to pay attention. You need to pay consideration of your head. So I make there in four, quarter to five, right? Up, quarter to five inches. You can measure five inches if you want but you need to pay attention to the size the circumference of your head so i measured one inch over here this part is one inch so i'm going to connect to the three and a half inches over there like i said pay attention to your circumference of your head if your head is like 22 going you can use uh cut it to five or five inches to understand when your neck your circumference of your head is less than 22 then you should use four and a half or four quarter do you understand the circumference of your head is very very important here so you pay attention to that's why we measure that part three inches and we measure here here too you're gonna get four a uh, five and a half inches the half inch is going to be sewing have you seen the connection yeah. so i'm going to join the shoulders i'm going to join the shoulder after joining the shoulder you're going to see we we'll move on to the next level so i've joined the shoulder as you can see 
cutting of the collar there's some tips there's some tips tricks that you need to pay attention when cutting the collar you know i don't want you to cut the cut the i don't want you to cut the collar wrongly you know there's a way so you need to pay attention when i'm cutting the collar and listen to me capiche so you need to arrange everything and make sure that the seam match together and you pay attention to the measurement here is very important the measurement here is very very important it's very very important it is what it is so you pay attention to the measurement i'm going to take here i'm going to write it down so you do the same thing you can see that i'm ironing it you know make sure that it lays down perfectly as i want it so first i'm going to measure the back so this is the back that I'm measuring. Sorry, my head is too big. It has covered the camera. It is what it is. So you measure the back. Whatever you're gonna get, you're gonna write it down. So my was uh, five and a half inches. Five and a half inches, I think. My was five and a half. Then I'm gonna add two and a half inches from the shoulder line. Two and a half inches from the shoulder line. So if two and a half inches plus five and a half inches, that will give me eight inches. You measure the back measurement, then from the shoulder line, you come down by two and a half inches. The two and a half inches is the collar. The two and a half inches is where the collar is going to fall. So from that, you measure the whole neck. Then you add like one and a half to it. Do you understand? So when you do it this way, you need to check the circumference of your head. If you can see that I'm folding into two to make sure that my head can, you know, enter inside my neck. Do you understand? so after that you just have to measure i'm just checking then you check and you measure and see that if you have getting the circumference of your head over here so if your head is 22 the circumference of your head is 22 when you measure it you make sure that you get 22 and a half to understand you get 22 and a half let some half inch come top of that on top of it So it's time to cut the collar. Pay attention here, please pay attention here. The cutting the collar is very, very important. How to cut it and how to iron it is very, very important. There's some tips and tricks that you need to pay attention. So I'm measuring four and a half inches. You can measure five inches if you want. You can measure five inches, but I'm measuring four and a half inches over here. Like I said, there's some tips, some tricks when cutting this collar and also there's a way of ironing it. When you want to iron it, there's a way of doing that. I'm telling you. So if you jump a step, you have jumped something great. You have jumped a big tips that will help you. It's more IFC. It is what it is. So you are feeling it. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend about more. Right? So we have something like this. You can see. We have folded this one to two and we're going to fold it back like this one. So that's how we're going to get. So let me take my other fabric and put it on it. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share and comment. So pay attention here. So I'm going to open it inside. This is how it is, you know. This is the wrong side. Please do pay attention here. Pay attention is very, very important. So when you close it this way, this is how the collar is going to be. The closing side will be far away from you and the opening side, you know, the opening side, if you look at the collar, the place that it's been opening, will face you. You have to let it face you. So pay attention to the measurement here. It's very important. Remember, at the back, we measure, we got five and a half inches. So I'm going to measure my five and a half inches. And from the back, from the shoulder line, I added two and a half to it. So two and a half, and that will give me eight inches. Not always that you have to be eight inches. If you measure your back, then the two half is a constant. You have to use the two and a half. So I'm measuring eight inches over here. So from this eight inches, I'm going to go to the top and measure eight and a half inches. This is eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches over here. Remember, the bottom is eight inches the top is eight and a half i added half inch this origin to that so i measured two inches over here these two inches my eight inches over here trying to connect and get the point the equilibrium point 
it is what it is <laughs> so two inches also over here so i'm gonna collect my sorry for my big head uh, i'll create this one i don't have a big head my head circumference is 22 so i'm gonna connect this line here it's a color have you seen a color it's a shape a color have a shape so you have to give it that shape so that it become beautiful do you understand you don't cut it straight if you want to carry straight uh awesome so we come to the bottom here here is also important we're going to measure half inch over here so half inch i'm going to connect and make a curve if you have a french curve you can use that to get to her the five and a half inches over here somebody may get five inches or somebody may get four inches over here so it's up to you depend on your measurement to understand your cutting so from here i'm going to cut over here like I said, there's a way of cutting it, like as you can see, and also there's a way of ironing it. When you want to iron it, there's a way you have to go by it. Please do well and watch how I'm going to iron it. It's very, very important. So I'm going to get something like this when I open it up. I did that, so be chocolate. <laughs> Uh, so we keep moving we keep moving it is what it is more ifc so we're gonna get something beautiful like this you can see there's a curve there's a shape over there so when i open it is how it's gonna be it's time to put fusing on it you can put fusing all over it if you want if you want like i said if you want you can put fusing all over it but I just want to put fusing just half of it or more than more than half of it. You know, just more than half of it. You're going to come top a little bit. You understand? Then you iron it. But if you want, you can put fusing all over it. Do you understand? If you want. I want to know where my wrong side is and my, my front side is. The right side and the wrong side. The right side and wrong side as well i'm measuring i'm putting a fuse on half on it you know so when i put the fuse on half i will know where my right side and where my wrong side is so this is the hand you put fuse on the hand this part also you have to put fuse over here it's very important you can see i didn't put fuse all over it but when i come to the leg or the hand i don't know it can be leg or hand So you come to this side, then you put fusion also over there. This part is important. Have you seen? There's a way of cutting it, there's a way of putting fusion on it, and there's a way how to iron it as well. I'm giving you all the tips what you can do to achieve the best of it. When you're doing this style, like I said, when you're doing this style, you need to pay attention to your head. The circumference of your head is important. You know, you need to check the circumference of your head. You know, if this, uh, this your senator can't enter in your head, how can you wear it? So, as you are doing it, you need to check the circumference of your head. Please give me a thumbs up, like and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you want to join my WhatsApp group, you are welcome. Follow me on my Facebook. On my Facebook is Mora FC. Mora FC. The same name. TikTok Mora FC. In Telegram Mora FC. Instagram Mora FC. Twitter. Retreat is Mora FC. <laughs> so we just trim it, you know, you know, making it looking beautiful. This thing, what does it look like? 
if it look like something make you comment and tell me what that this part look like you know if you look at it you know it's like it has a four legs and stuff like that does it look like something if it does look like something just leave it on the comment below let me see if you comment that part i want to i will know that that's this is the part that you are looking for you are telling me so you measure you make sure you check if you have your two inches do you understand i'm really checking if i have my two inches if i don't have it i need to trim some part off to get my two inches over there two inches two inches you see i'm gonna do the same thing to the side Please, if you are new to the channel, do want to subscribe, like, I post videos every one of these and Saturday. New star, new tutorial, new tips, new tricks. It is what it is. So please subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, there are more to come. There's a lot. There's, I mean, there's a lot to. We are here for you guys. I'm here for you. Moriah FC is here for you. I love you guys. Do you understand? I will make things easy for you. So you're gonna fold it to two, fold into two like this one. Then you iron it. You can see that my hemming, uh, my fusing is more than half of it. You can see how it is. It's more than half of it. I fuse half so that for me to know the right side and the wrong side. Do you understand? For me to know the right side and the wrong side. If I fuse all, well, it will confuse me when I'm when I'm sewing. Do you understand? So I just want to know this part is my wrong side and this part is my right side. You can see we have a beautiful shape over here. You know, that's the back, the back neck. You know, so when you're showing this part, you're gonna show that it's fall exactly on that part. It's gonna look smooth on that part. Very beautiful work. I'm telling you, it is what it is. So we are moving to the next level. So I'm gonna open it this way, wrong side, wrong side will face each other. Then we're gonna show this part and come here. That's the only thing. We're gonna show this part also. Then you come here. So let me go and do that one and come back. Let me go and do very, very simple and easy. It's really painful when you are doing something serious and your phone stops recording. But why is it recording? You can see that it's recording, but it's not recording. Guys, you know, for the sake of the love that we have for you guys, you know, my phone was not recording at this part. So I have to come this evening. You can see that the color has changed, the material has changed. I need to teach you right here. This part is very important. I did everything and it wasn't recorded. These are some challenges that we went through while recording. So after sewing at that part, I just want to show you how you can iron this part. It's very important. That's why I have to come back again and show you. So this, you look at where there's a fusing. You can see the previous one. I put half fusing. So the place that there's a fusing, you pay attention to that part. Just look closely. This part is no fusing, and this part is a fusing. So this is how you're going to iron it. Please pay attention. It's very important. That's why I have to go back this evening and go and do this part and bring it back and see that the color change. You know, for the love of you guys. So you drag it inside. You know, obviously the way I'm ironing it, you just have to push it inside. You push that part towards inside. And come to the side. Then you push it. Then you iron it. You just have to push it towards you. Do you understand? You push it towards you, then you iron it. The place that is diffusing have to be on the floor, on the table. And this part is for this part, you push it away. This part you push it away. While this one is coming in, this one is going out. That's how you're supposed to iron it. The while this one's coming in, this one is going out. You feeling it? This one is going now. That's how you're supposed to iron this part. It's very, very important. 
what you do this way you're gonna see how the outcome is going to be I'm still gonna teach you how the outcome will be you know these are some of the challenges that you go through you will record it and you're gonna see that it's recording after you finish you're gonna see that it's not recording so you can see here you can see that it has come inside a little bit when you look at here also you can see how that part is and you look here also so when you come to the right side you can see that it is smooth and nicely so these are the challenges that we always face you know recording you can't record and you finish and it's not recording then you have to Sometimes you can get fed up and just put it somewhere and move on without doing until some days, you know, some weeks or some months, then you come across to do that design and do it. You go through challenges, so you go through challenges recording stuff, teaching you guys, you go through the challenges. So when you follow this way, when I need it like I taught you, so when you fix your color, you're going to see that that color will come nicely. And this part you're gonna see this part will fall beautifully this part is gonna fall very beautifully you can see when I on the way I thought you should I on it you're gonna get it perfectly done you can see that's gonna the outcome is gonna look beautiful So it's time for join this one on your signature tab. You know, you have to go the back. You know the back. This is the right side. The part that has a fusing should be on top. The part this part that has a fusing have to be on top. So we are working on the right side of the fabric. But we are starting at the back you make a notch at the center you make a notch at the center you show at that part and you get to the at the bottom then you show this part also you get to the Charlie uh, <laughs> you know it's hard to like the recording record so I'm even speechless so after doing that after doing that you're gonna when you get to this point you just have to come back to your table you come back to your table don't just push it in and iron don't just, just push in and just continue you just have to come back to your table like this one this is the time that you have finished fixing the neck uh, the collar shower collar after you finish fixing it you just have to come and arrange it this way you make sure that you have the right you have it done you know this is the perfect done you make sure that everything is right everything is set you push this one in just like that don't just top stitch at that part you just have to put it in and you hold it firmly then you hold it firmly you can pin it or you hold it firmly but one have to get over and cross on another you know like half inch or more than that so one have to be on top on each other after you're gonna finish that's how the half time gonna be then you just have to hold it and just top stitch it's part you know, it's more IFC it is or Charlie a turtle I'm still hurt I'm still hurt but I hope you learn it you can see how that come the white is more IFC it is what it is